Hello, welcome back to Big Brother Reads. I will be doing, uh, today I'll be reading A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee. This one's a pretty funny book, and I like it a lot. And I thought I might as well do a camping book since it's kind of right about the time that most people would be doing camping. So let's get into today's video. Yes, camping spree is Mr. McGee. Who's at the back side of the book? By Chris Van Dusen. Yeah, sounds like a German name. Chris Van Dusen. Just a sec. Oh, man, there's a lot of pages left to turn. Early one. Okay. Early one morning at 7:03, Mr. McGee and his little dog D packed up the camper and hitched, uh, and hitched up the load. Hopped in the Rambler and then hit the road. They drove to the mountains far from the sea for two nights of camping, or possibly three. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to see how to hold this camera, or the, hold the computer best to read it, and... There's nothing like camping, said Mr. McGee. I know that you'll love it, just you wait and see. The views are fantastic. There's hardly a sound. Aside from the wildlife, there's no one around. The air is so sweet, you'll sleep like a log, said Mr. McGee to a small spotted dog. Um, well, I guess, Mom, I guess you're in the background in my, one of my videos. Anyways. A few hours later, they took a sharp right and found a great spot to lay camp for the night. It was high on a hill with such a beautiful view of Mount Adams, Mount Lincoln, and Jefferson, too. But perhaps the most wonderful feature of all was a brook that ran over a steep waterfall. Dee gathered pine cones and branches and logs. McGee made a campfire and cooked some hot dogs. As the sun set behind far distant knolls, they sat roasting marshmallows over the coals. So, you know how it says, uh, over of Mount Adams? I'm pretty sure that's, uh, in, in Washington or Oregon. As the embers went out, they felt tired and dozy, so they climbed into their bunk beds all comfy and cozy. But while they were falling asleep without care, along came a long stumbling, bumbling bear. Calm the old bear, his sight wasn't so clear. He couldn't see far, and he couldn't see near. He, and, but he could smell marshmallows, sticky and sweet. The smell made him hungry. He wanted a treat. But he stuffed, he, uh, he sniffed out the place where the marshmallows lay. But the car and the camper were in the bear's way. Yeah, that didn't stop the sneaky old snitch. He simply tried squeezing right under the hitch. And as he was shimmying into the gap, he pushed up the hitch, which let go with a snap. Now the camper and the car were untied. The sled rolled down the rocky hillside. The car bounced away the old logging road. While the camper was heading to where the stream flowed. It flew down the hill in a wild, bumpy ride. With Dee and McGee sleeping soundly inside. They were snoring and soothing, enjoying a dream, and splash went the camper right into the stream. I like how this, rac this raccoon's just like, ah! Oops. Skipped. 
page. I just ripped a page. Thankfully, it's ours, not a library book. The splash shook the camper. They bumped out of bed. Now, what in the world was that? Buggy said. And when he looked out and saw they were where they were, his hair stood on end, and so did, uh, and so did Dee's fur. They were caught in the rapids, but that was not all. They were headed straight for the waterfall. Yikes! Dee and Buggy both started to quiver. As faster and faster they headed down the river. But just when they thought they'd fall over the edge, The camper got stuck in a rock at the edge, so there they, so there they were, stranded, McGee and his pup, on top of a waterfall, 50 feet up! <sighs> uh, sorry. Meanwhile, the nearsighted bear from before was searching for one little marshmallow more. When, lo and behold, as if out of a dream, he spotted something sweet floating over the stream. But the bear thought it was a marshmallow treat. It was really the hitch and not something to eat. The bear was determined to capture his prize, so he jumped in the water right up to his thighs. He splashed through the stream to the edge of the fall, and snatched up the trail hitch, camper and all. Dee felt a tug, McGee heard a knock. As the bear pulled the camper right off the rock, he dragged them both all the way back to the bank. When he realized the hitch was not sweet, but quite rank, he spit out the hitch and leapt in dismay, while McGee and Dee's camper rolled away. Uh, flew down the path with a jolt in a jar. Uh, and, stopped in, and stopped in some bushes, right next to the car. Dee popped her head out. McGee looked out too. Have they really stopped rolling? Could it be true? At last, things were quiet and peaceful and still. They hooked up the hitch and drove off down the hill. And on the way home, McGee and Dee, uh, and uh, on the way home, McGee said to Dee, "That trip wasn't quite like I thought it would be." So they go home, scattering red. They decided to camp in the backyard instead. The end. And if you, it's funny if you look at the cover. It's actually one giant picture. Bear looking at the camper. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for today. With a hmm, maybe I might do another video in a bit of Mr. Putter and Tabby painting the porch. I'm pretty sure I've done one with fish. Like, what? Mr. Putter and Tabby watched the fish or something like that. But anyways, uh, that's all for right now. And Jesus loves you. Goodbye.